This is Corey Lee Boxing. We're back with another banger. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Um, please smash the hell out of that like button and subscribe. This is Corey Lee Boxing. You already know. Um, so with that being said, I hope everybody's having a great week. Um, with and with that being said, um, so Spike O'Sullivan and David Lemieux are gonna be added to the uh, Canelo Alvarez versus a Triple G card, as uh, and, and as that's gonna supposed to be the co-main event possibly. Um, and then on top of that, they're talking about Hami Mangia is gonna be on the card as well with Chuck Latito will be on the card as well. So they're going to stack that card um you know to the best of their ability. Um it's not it's not known right now who uh Hami Mangia is going to going to fight as of right now, but you know like I said, he's not ready for Jared Hurd. He's not ready for a Jamel a J- Jamel Charlo. You know, and he's not, he's just not ready, you know, for uh, for any of those people to be on there. You know what I mean? This is a, this is pretty much a showcase fight. It's a pay-per-view card. It's to build up their next uh, superstar, um, hopefully. You know what I mean? If Golden Boy can get them signed and, you know, get everything, you know, uh, you know, panned out, you know, the way they need to. And, you know, I think that the uh, David Lemieux versus Spike O'Sullivan, I think that'll be a good matchup. I think David Lemieux gonna, will win that fight. Um, Spike O'Sullivan got beat by Chris Eubank Jr. And he's gotten beat by Billy Joe Saunders. Um, I know Chris Eubank Jr. stopped him, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not, I think he did stop him. I'm almost positive he stopped Spike O'Sullivan. Um, and this guy, Spike O'Sullivan, is getting so much airtime out of nowhere. I'm like, how? Where? How? When? You know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those type of situations where you're like, where did this dude come from? Like, is he supposed to be this new superstar? And my personal opinion is the, 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 the power that I know David Lemieux has and that he can, you know, access at any given time. Just go look at Curtis Stevenson and, you know, some of the other guys. He's just completely obliterated and knocked out cold. Um, plus, he's going to rehydrate. I think this fight's going to be at 160. He's going to rehydrate. Curtis Stevenson said David Lemieux came in the ring at 190. 190. Completely missing the next day IBF weigh-in. I mean, it was just, you know, he said... <laughs> I mean, it was crazy, you know what I mean? Like, he was like, he was a, 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 a full, like, 20 pounds more than me. And he put everything into that shot when he hit Curtis Stevenson. So, you know, I know David Lemieux is still dedicated, and, you know, I'll, be, I'll follow him on Instagram. So, you know, and that, that's, one of my, that's one of my fighters. I actually, you know, thought I was, you know, I was, I was I, to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. I thought, you know, David Lemieux would have did a lot better win the triple g fight but he didn't you know he got you know he got he got taken to school by an olympian you know um david lemieux was definitely not an olympian but he's got power and you know spike o'sullivan for for all the newbies out there he's not this new guy that's you know what i mean that's out here you know acting like he's the big bad you know wolf now he he deserves a title shot in my personal opinion he doesn't deserve a a, a mf and thing in my personal, that's just my personal opinion. You know what I mean? Um, and then you got Chuck Latito. Uh, he's coming back. Uh, you know he got sparked by Rang Vasai. Rang Vasai stretched him. Stretch season volume three. Um, you know Chuck Latito was on a lot of people's pound for pound list. Um, you know he was. The, we thought he was the goods. I think he was the goods. You know, but when you move up in weight divisions. That those it's a weight division for a reason. I mean, I think he just moved up three pounds. That's the crazy part about it. He only moved up like three pounds. And Rang Vasai looked like like two weight divisions bigger than Chuck Latito. I mean, that's just the that's <laughs> that's just what you got to deal with when you move up. And then you got Hami Mungia. Hami Mungia did pretty good against Liam Smith. Uh, I mean, he got touched up a bit much, so I noticed. This voluntary defense coming up, uh, you know, hopefully on the pay-per-view. He's going to probably get a good touch-up, you know what I mean? Get everything back in shape, get everything, you know, working again and, you know, do what he can do, you know what I mean? But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Please smash the hell out of that like button and subscribe.
And until next time, peace.